Money makers, greetings. Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're going to be watching this video. A lot of people ask me questions over and over and I begin to wonder whether they've watched the videos or not. So please, I'm making this video from start to end. I'll show you as much as I can on the video and I hope that you can start trading by yourself with no one doing anything for you. So the MetaTrader application is on the bottom right hand of my screen. You can see it. So when I click on it, it opens okay so this shows me that my demo account is open when the demo account is the first it means it's the demo account that you're working with if i want to get my real account to work with i just click on it and then it will get me to sign in i sign in okay so now this shows that this is my real account but today we want to use the demo account so let's click back on the demo account and we get back there okay one more thing there is a plus sign at the top right hand corner here when you click on it this is when you have just your demo account and you want to sign in with your real account right you want to get your real account signed in the real account um, password and login code is given to you in your email don't give that to anybody please so you click on the plus sign at the top and then find broker you're going to see this um icon find broker then you type asj forex global mine is already saved in my phone because i've typed it in several times but if you don't see it don't freak out just type it in when you type it in you click on it it's going to give you an opportunity to log in don't touch anything just go don't copy and paste the login and the password no it's not going to work you need to type it out so if it, if i were you before i get on here I'll take a piece of paper and I'll write that um, login code and the password. The login code, the login is actually a number, a set of numbers. And right immediately after those set of numbers, there's something that is called, I think, the primary password. I'm not so sure. I think it should be primary password. You put it for the password and then you click on login. So that one is done and dusted. That's how you get to log in with your real account. And when you do that, you now have this kind of account, like mine has my name with the kind of icon there. But I think the new icon is green, like the demo. I think that's how the new icon looks like. But either ways, the name of the company is ASJ Forex Global Limited. Okay, so now let's get to trading. This is the same way you trade for anything. Even if it's your real life account, this is the same way. You follow the same procedure to trade. So now you click on quotes. It's at the bottom left hand corner of my screen you click on quotes and that's it originally we've used usd right but yesterday because of the fall in the dollars and all that stuff yesterday we actually used um australian dollars which was supposed to be aud chf okay if you look at this screen there's no aud chf first let me show you when we're using euro usd what you needed to do next was just click on this and then it'll give you an option of new order. You click on new order. And then there's this grayish number here. We call it lot size. So whatever your lot size is, you put it in. You should have gotten this already before getting in here. On the customized Excel sheet that I've made for most people. Almost all my downlines have a customized Excel sheet that I've made for them. So you get your lot size and then you put it in. Now when you get to this point, you have to wait you wait um there is going to be a flyer a certain picture i'll send to you probably an hour if it's late maximum 30 minutes before time i'll send you that flyer and on the t flyer you have the operation you have the operation of what you're going to do so that operation can tell you buy or sell that's where you know whether you're buying or selling and you know whether it's euro usd or australian dollars because now we we started trading australia dollars yesterday so i don't know if that is going to be consistent or we're going to come back to euro usd so let's just take for instance um today it was supposed to be sell okay you wait at the exact time when is the exact time you click on sell it could be um 2 30 if it has to be cameroon and 2 30 to 2 35 so for example we click on sell so it has done that okay when you click on this you see these um numbers here you see these numbers that are shaking not not the one that is shaking red okay you 
long press on it it's going to give you a pop-up and you click on that pop-up close position so it's showing right now at the bottom close with loss you have to hold this on for like five minutes because our trade is for five minutes so you begin to look at this um, thing as it's going up and down up and down up and down to be sure when it gets to your target profit your target profit is also on the excel sheet that i would have um, customized for you you get your target profit when you see your target profit right down here you click on it you know that it's on profit when the numbers is in blue it's written close to profit anyways but you know that the number is in blue when this number down here is close with profit it will be in blue but now that it's in red it's close with loss so normally you have to hold on and wait and make sure that it gets to profit before you close if you're looking at say you need to get six dollars profit and uh, it's almost a 450 something four 50 seconds four minutes 50 seconds and you have just five dollars and your target is six dollars please close with profit it's better to get two dollars profit or three dollars profit than wanting to get four dollars profit and then you get out of time and then you lose profits totally and completely that is just crazy it makes no sense so that's exactly what happens and then um, today I'll probably have to close with um, this loss because I just want to show you this I really hate to close with loss but today I have to do it because I have to show you this thing and get off this um, page so you have to be looking at it for the next five minutes and be sure that it gets to close right okay so um, what do you do this is what you do right now you close when you close it means that session is done so you go to history and this is the page you screenshot and send to your upline some people don't even send but it's okay but if you're in the telegram group or the messenger group you would have to send this to prove that you're trading you screenshot it and send it to the people and then you're done with trading for the day so you go back and click on this okay that's it that's one so let me show you the next one um, if you have to look for if you have to look for maybe a different currency that they tell us and you don't have it you go the same process again it's my demo account that is on there so i'm sure that is my demo account you click on quotes and now we need to look for aud chf aud chf there is a plus sign right up here you click on it for some people it has search so you click on a u d chf there is it it just opened you click on it it has added to your to your screen you go back and you're going to see there this is it right at the bottom AUD CHF and there is also the option of you being able to being able to actually take off some of these other things so let's do this one we have to um, do it's here now you click on it new order you change your lot size. Sawadika. Change your lot size. Um, I still use the same. Um, let's say this time around it's buy. You wait for the time. It will be given to you. Every single day will give the new time because it can be different operations. Today is buy. Tomorrow is sell. Today is sell, sell. Just like that. It keeps getting different. So you have to look out for the picture and the timing you have to be sure it's philippine time so you have to subtract a couple of hours from it based on your time so let's say today on aud chf is buy we click on buy this happens sometimes just say yes accept same process again you click on that and it gives you close position and you just keep waiting and holding on um, for the five minutes you click at exactly the start time if it's 4 30 2 30 1 30 you click on it exactly and you hold on when the signal is given it always gets to be profit i don't know why people don't get some profit some people that i've i've um, spoken with who have been doing the demo they don't get the profit i don't know why they don't but i always get profit i always get profit the only time that I missed out was when I mistakenly got in when it was not time. I always get profit. 
and then the time that some people have also missed is when they went out of time if you go out of the five minutes you're on your own you can't blame anybody you can't blame the broker you can't blame anybody you have yourself to blame so basically that's how it works so you have to hold on and be sure that this gets to close with profit and then you close it like the other one close for profit i hope i got profit and you check the history yes i got profits okay so you can see i got 0.78 dollars and then you go back and you make sure that it's your demo account that is there so you remember again how to put up your original account you click on it and you sign in and then when you're done trading you do the same process that i just did for the demo account when you're done trading you put your demo account up there because you don't want to lose <laughs> you could mistakenly get in here and just click something mistakenly and if it's your original account you're going to lose so much money okay if you can see on my history i lost this is minus 22.62 dollars and it's terrible when you're on your real account because in your real account there um the broker would have to get a commission this is just a, a demo account so all the money you get or you lost is just for you but when it's a real account oh my god there's this part of commission which is the broker's commission and when you lose they still cut the broker's commission from your money so they're not only going to cut this 22.62 dollars they're also going to cut the broker's commission from your from your thing so you have to be very careful so that's why we always advise that when you're done please make sure that it's your demo account that is on the uh, it's on the screen make sure it's your demo account that is at the top so hope this particular thing is very very helpful and uh, it works for you okay any other tutorial you want me to get on please just let me know and i'll get it right on and hey just for um, a bonus you know if you want to actually remove all of this so that you're sure that you're clicking on the right thing if your phone appears like mine you click on edit and you click on delete and you delete the ones that you don't want the ones that you're not using so that it gets easier for you you have a clear page of what you're clicking on so you see we have just euro usd and aud chf so that every time i'm trading i know that i'll definitely click on the right thing i won't be scared that oh i might click on the wrong um currency and i get to lose out instead of gaining because it's very very important you click on the right thing so you can delete those symbols and you can also add them right here if you need them you search them and add them okay so if you need any more tutorials just let me know and uh, i'll be right at your service let's keep making money okay get back on there to demo account so if you go now to quotes you're gonna see just two okay hope that was helpful bye ciao ciao